Hey everybody, this is Lee Warner. Uh, I've received some questions about the pentatonic scale and improvising with the pentatonic scale. The rabbit hole goes so deep with the pentatonic scale. A lot of people know some of the pentatonic scale. They may not know all the modes of it, um, and they probably all then learned the blues note and playing the major third over dominant chords. Sometimes people might find that it sounds a little weird if they add the sixth on a minor chord and um, then maybe they learn to play the minor sixth. If I didn't just say that, the sixth. They learn to play the minor sixth on a minor chord rather than the regular sixth from Dorian and how they relate to the modes. Um, or how the minor sixth is actually sharp five if you're playing it on a dominant chord and how if that dominant chord happens to be the five of the next chord, like if you're playing G7 and then going to the four chord, C7, well that G7 is the five of that C, so it's actually barring from the altered scale. Uh, people might learn about the three note per string uh, version of the pentatonic scale and its modes. People will learn how the minor pentatonic and the major pentatonic are one and the same in relation to each other, just starting from a different place. And then eventually people learn that uh, you can play uh, from different places. I mean, just a quick example of what I mean. If you had a major 7 chord, like an A major 7 chord, you could play the minor pentatonic from uh, G sharp minor, and you're going to be playing a lot of really cool notes. And that's just one place. You could also play it from B minor, which is a little tense, but it's still good. Or you could play C sharp minor. All of this over an A major 7 chord. That C sharp minor is really good. So you see now, this puts me in a situation. I kind of um, get tempted to... Well, I want to talk about all this really cool stuff. Um, but the only way I can feel really um, good about doing it is to be sure that I'm systematic. If you are among the more experienced players, in the beginning here we're going to have some basic stuff you already know. But I have to go through that stuff in order to get to some of the really unusual stuff that you, some of which you just can't find anywhere. Um, at least I haven't on YouTube, for example. Uh, and as for the rest of you guys, who, anybody who doesn't know stuff already or maybe knows one of the patterns, uh, sometimes people will assume that they, oh, I know that minor pentonic, you know, because it is kind of a thing that people learn in the very beginning. But they usually learn one or two positions and they feel, I got it. But uh, very few do I see really integrate all five modes of it and move along the neck, sticking to the pentatonic scale and stuff like that. Um, so, anyway, this is just an introduction to what I'm about to begin. It will start. Uh, with just the ordinary uh, fingerings and then we'll go from there to adding the, uh, the blues note and uh, how to address the third if it's over a dominant chord and some ideas about minor chord that sixth, the flat six I mentioned before, the three note per string and some weird hybrids uh, also. Anyway, uh, that's enough for an introduction. Um, well, I'll see you in the first video. Mm-hmm.